In this step, I'm going to establish a VPN connection to the remote PC. So starting with TeamViewer, I'm going to try to connect to my partner, which is the plant PC. You may need to read the TeamViewer's webpage to know how to set up a connection. Alright, now I'm connected to the plant PLC. This is my partner's desktop. Next, let me start the VPN. As you can see, the team viewer has assigned a virtual IP address to my computer, which is the office computer, and another one to the remote PC or plant computer. In this step, I'm going to enable IP routing in the office computer. This process will allow data to cross over uh, a network of computers. Therefore, in this example, uh, we can route data between the programming software and the remote PLC. Uh, please note that the routing um, by default is disabled. So, for example, if we go to command prompt and type IP config command here you can see that the IP routing is disabled so we need to enable that in order to enable IP routing we go to registry okay it is in local machine system current control set services then look for TCP IP right there and then highlight the parameters and you can see that the IP enable router uh, value is zero so we modify the value of data to one and then okay then we need to restart the computer now it's time to add the IP address of the remote PLC to the routing table of the office computer in order to do so we go to the command prompt so in the accessory we run the command prompt as the administrator and we use the route add command in this manner route add now the IP address of the remote PLC which is 120 120 120 10 and the command mask 255, 255, 255, 255. Next, we need to add the IP address uh, of the remote connection, remote VPN connection, which is the IP address of the partner shown here. So simply, I just copy this IP and paste it here, and then the command metric and one okay and if i as a test if i ping the remote plc i should be able to see that here perfect this indicates that my computer can see the remote plc to start the rs links software and configure the required driver for the PLC. Okay, let's configure the driver. Here, we uh, since uh, our PLC uh, is connected through Ethernet cable to the remote PC, we can either use the Ethernet devices driver or Ethernet IP driver. First, let's try Ethernet devices. So simply add a new 
driver to the configuration drivers at least uh, let's name that as team and then simply here just add the IP address of the remote PLC so if you remember it was 120 120 121 and 10 and then OK and close now if you go to the list of the drivers here you can see that our remote PLC exists on the network to try the other driver which is the Ethernet IP driver add new let's name this as team 2 okay and since the PLC is located in a remote place so we need to use the browse remote subnet here the IP address of the remote PLC 120 120 10 and the subnet mask is the mask that we added in our route table which was 255 255 255 255 so please notice not to put a zero here then okay and close now here in our list uh, there you go if I expand the tree I am seeing my PLC last but not least we run the RS Logix 5000 software to go online with the PLC uh, and uh, do whatever we want to do if you want to download a new program if you want to upload the existing program if you monitor the running logic uh, and so forth so let's first choose the who active uh, and here go online since I don't have the source of the program I'm, I am going to upload the program to my computer so here I choose a name for the uploading program so remote program select so the software is going to create a new project and it is uploading the program to my computer there you go here in the main program we can open the main routine to see the logic which is a very simple one a test program I can uh, toggle a bit here I also can see my IO configuration tree uh, I also have access to the program tags 